In differential aeration corrosion, again, two types of corrosion are takes place. One is waterline corrosion. Uh, this type of corrosion is uh, normally observed in water tank and uh, ocean going shapes. Uh, now let us see what is this water line corrosion. Consider one water tank. When uh, the water tank is partially filled or uh, half filled with water, uh, then the corrosion is takes place just below the water line. This type of corrosion is known as water line corrosion. You can see at here just below the if the corrosion is takes place just below the water line then such kind of uh, corrosion is known as water line corrosion why the corrosion is takes place uh, just below the water line this is because uh, just below the water line uh, the part of the metal is exposed to lesser concentration of oxygen that means uh, this part contains uh, less aerated hence this portion act as anode so the corrosion is takes place in this region so on the other hand uh, the above the water line the, the metal part is exposed to higher concentration of oxygen that means uh, this metal part is highly aerated hence this part is act as cathode and this part is completely unaffected by the corrosion so here also the same reaction is takes place at the anode what happens oxidation is takes place that is the metal is converted into its uh, metallic ion form with the liberation of electrons and at cathode only the oxygen absorption types of reaction is takes place that is the water molecules present in the corrosive media absorbs oxygen along with this electron and the formation of OH minus ion is takes place this is nothing but the water line corrosion so in the water line corrosion the corrosion is takes place just below the uh, water line why uh, because uh, just below the water line the oxygen concentration is very less above the water line the oxygen concentration is uh, very high so this part portion act as cathode and this portion act as anode so the corrosion is takes place in the anodic region not at the cathodic region another type of differential aeration corrosion is pitic corrosion uh, this is one of the localized form of corrosion and this type of corrosion is takes place very rapidly uh, in this type of corrosion, uh, some pits are generated. That means some holes or cavities are generated in the metal surface. Hence, the name is pitic corrosion. Now, let us see how this pitic corrosion is takes place. Consider uh, this box as iron metal or iron metal surface. When uh, the small particles of dust or uh, drop of uh, oil or water are uh, deposited on this metal surface then the co pitic corrosion is takes place you can see at here also when uh, the small particles of dust is immerse, uh, is deposited on this metal surface region then this type of corrosion is takes place what happens when uh, this dust particle is deposited on the metal surface? Uh, what happens is uh, the portion uh, covered by the dust particle will be less oxygenated. That means uh, the portion, uh, the metal portion which is covered by the dust particle is less aerated. Hence, uh, this portion is act as anode while the remaining exposed area act as cathode. Uh, in the presence of moisture, the corrosion is takes place just below this uh, dust part area. So, in the presence of uh, moisture, some pits or holes are generated just below this uh, dust particle area. So, this portion, this minimum portion, act as anode. 
So here only uh, the oxidation is takes place as well as the corrosion is takes place. And the other uh, exposed area act as anodic region and here the oxygen adsorption type reactions are takes place. So once the pits are generated, the corrosion is takes place very rapidly uh, due to the formation of uh, smaller anodic area and the larger cathodic area. Now let us see the various reactions takes place during pitic reactions. Here also uh, um, say uh, the reaction is the same as in the waterline corrosion. Here also in the anodic region you can see uh, here also uh, this is the whole generation mm, here uh, at the anode what happens the iron is converted into its uh, iron 2 plus uh, form with the liberation of electrons this portion is a less oxygenated area and act as anode and the corrosion is takes place in this region then uh, in the um, cathode what happens uh, the water molecules present in the corrosive media adsorbs oxygen uh, along with these electrons the formation of OH minus ion is takes place here uh, this portion act as the remaining exposed area act as cathode and this portion is uh, remaining unaffected by the corrosion and finally uh, this Fe2 plus ions and OH minus ions combines to form the corrosion product so overall in this video we discuss the various types of corrosion in that uh, we discuss the differential metal corrosion or galvanic corrosion that is when two different metals are in contact with each other in a corrosive media then the metal with lower electrode potential undergoes corrosion that is nothing but galvanic corrosion. Next type is differential aeration corrosion. This type of corrosion is obtained when we expose the metal into air or oxygen concentration. Uh, this uh, this uh, type of corrosion is again uh, uh, subdivided into two types of corrosion. One is waterline corrosion and the pitic corrosion. We discussed these two types of corrosion also.